everyone, this is Nicole from KenHub, and welcome to our tutorial on the maxillary nerve. During this tutorial, we'll be using this lateral view of the cranium and brainstem to look at the maxillary nerve, with, of course, our brainstem over here on the right, with the trigeminal nerve and the optic nerve emerging, and then passing through to the orbit and the eyeball. In this tutorial, of course, although the focus is on the maxillary nerve, we're also going to talk about a few different structures associated with it, starting first with the trigeminal nerve, which is also known as the fifth cranial nerve, followed by the trigeminal ganglion, and finally the maxillary nerve, which is often referred to as V2, as it's the second branch of the trigeminal nerve. With regards to the maxillary nerve, we'll talk about its many branches before finishing by talking about some clinical correlations. But for now, let's begin with the trigeminal nerve. As I mentioned before, the trigeminal nerve is the fifth cranial nerve and is often referred to as CNV, and in addition to being the largest of the 12 cranial nerves, is often considered to be the most complex. And as you can see, after arising from its nucleus, it exits the brainstem along the anterior aspect of the midpons into the prepontine cistern as a large sensory root and a smaller motor root before merging with the trigeminal ganglion, or the gasseri ganglion, a knot-like mass of nerve cell bodies, which we'll talk about a bit later on on the next slide. And the trigeminal nerve provides innovation for the sensation of the face, mucous membranes and some other structures of the head, the motor innervation of the muscles of mastication, which includes the masseter muscle, shown in green on the right, as well as feedback for proprioception of the face and lower jaw. The trigeminal ganglion, or the gasseri ganglion, is a flattened sensory ganglion located within the middle cranial fossa in a depression called the trigeminal cave, or Meckel's cave, and the ganglion gives rise to three branches of the trigeminal nerve, the ophthalmic nerve, or V1, a sensory nerve, the maxillary nerve, or V2, also a sensory nerve, and the mandibular nerve, or V3, which carries both motor and sensory fibres. As the focus of today's tutorial is the maxillary nerve, we won't be discussing the ophthalmic and mandibular nerve, so if you're looking for more information on the ophthalmic nerve and the mandibular nerve, please make sure you check out our website for the tutorials on these nerves. But for now, let's talk a little bit about the maxillary nerve. So as we just mentioned, the maxillary nerve is the second branch of the trigeminal nerve and arises from the anterior pole of the trigeminal ganglion between the ophthalmic and the mandibular nerves, which we can see on the image on the right. And the maxillary nerve can be divided into three parts, each giving off a set of branches. The first part, which we'll call the part before the maxillary nerve, enters the foramen rotundum, which is this little foramen just here, and gives off this small branch here, the meningeal branch of the maxillary nerve. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.